it's my day off today, so hang on. You can see dirt on the lens. I'm sure using my finger to clean it will have made it much better. <laughs> um, yeah, it's my day off and Will is out for the day. So I thought that maybe you could keep me company. I thought I would film a video of my day. And that that might be fun. <laughs> I've tried to talk about this um, already. I've like recorded it and it was such a jumble that it didn't even make sense to me. So, <laughs> so instead I've written it down and I'm just going to read what I want to say over the top of some footage or whatever from my day. So yeah, I'm just going to read this. <laughs> The fact that this is a definite day off is a new thing for me. I don't want to get too excited about it because it's only been a week and a half. <laughs> but I'm trying out a routine. I've made a schedule. The reason for this is sort of twofold. One is from a mental health believing in myself perspective. And the other is trying to separate work and not work. I think my entire timeline of having an Etsy shop slash trying to make a living from art has been a bit of a mess, um, starting with maybe a childish delusion, to be honest, of just, this is gonna work out, because I want it to. And then for various reasons, my mental health got progressively worse over time. And I'm now on the other side of the worst of that, touch wood, and um, I'm building myself back up again in various ways, bit by bit. And a recent bit is realizing that I need to believe in myself more, take myself as an artist more seriously. Um, I've always tried really hard, but in a way that's like, yeah, I'm doing it, but I don't really matter. <laughs> it's so horrible. Um, and so I had this idea for a routine so that I'm like, no, this is work time. This is not work time. And it just gives me the headspace to focus on particular things because my work and hobby can be quite similar to each other. And also working from home, there's housework that can get done. And I'd spend my days in a mix of, here's what I need to do. And it'd be work stuff, personal stuff, housework. And I'd try and get everything done as though it was all the same. But now I've split my day and my week into sections. And I'm putting things I want to do into their own sections. And giving myself a solid chunk of work time. And so far it's working well. I've got a time of day that I start. And it's very generous, so in the morning I'm not berating myself for not being ready by now because so long as I hit that start time, it's fine. And if I'm ready earlier, I can start earlier. And then I have a chunk of work time and then a lunch break, a full hour so that I can rest for a bit, eat, watch an episode of something or read or even like pop out to the supermarket or whatever, but a break from work. Because I notice when I push through that I lag really early in the afternoon so a break makes me more productive. And then I have another good chunk of work time and having an end time is helping because if I start to lag, I can be like, it's only another 45 minutes, just do a bit more, use up the time, get this little job done. And then I have housework time before dinner. So it's that sort of end of the work day, get a little bit of housework done and I'll just pick one thing and get that done. And then maybe do a little bit of exercise depending on how much I've moved today. <laughs> and then in the evening I just do whatever personal stuff, crafts or just lounging. And then I have my two days off, Sunday, Monday. On Monday, I do pack and post orders, but on those two days I don't do or think about any other work. Packing orders is a different sort of brain usage than creative work, so it doesn't feel like it's contributing to that creative burnout that I'm trying to avoid. I need, I need the space to rest and take in interesting things and to have fun and to let my brain ruminate. I used to spend so much time just telling myself that I'm not good enough, not enough skill, not enough ideas, blah, blah, blah. And it's tiring <laughs> and it would stop me from getting anything done or making any progress and was just a big evil circle. And now I'm like, this is my work hours. Here is my list of work I want to get done. This is my spare time hours. Here's a craft I want to do for myself. It's taken away some decision making about what should I be doing and has separated my tasks out in a more productive way 
and so far it's feeling good. I'm finding I work best with a mix of structure and freedom. So if there's a day in the week where I want to just go do something else, I will. It's a very flexible schedule. But it gives me enough guidance in general to feel like I know what I need to be doing and to give my work the importance it needs and deserves. And it, it seems good so far. I feel like whenever I try to make a video that is a day, it always kind of peters out during the afternoon and they don't end very satisfyingly. So I'm going to just carry on filming on the next day. So it's Monday now <laughs> and hopefully I'll be able to film some stuff today and then make a nice little video out of it. Um, yeah, two day, two day video rather than one day video. That's fine. It's nice. I, I'm not bad at videos. It's fine. <laughs> really humid today. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I've posted my orders though, so now I can do whatever I want for the rest of the day. Which includes, oh, looking at these cute flowers.
This is just an ugly old car park on a random street. But you get all these guys just growing in the edges. It doesn't feel like autumn at all. But <gasps> first conquers. Look how shiny and nice they are. Oh yeah. It's so humid and muggy though. It's really cool that this has Japanese comics and American comics and there's no no back they just both start from either side that's really cool Ha, 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 ha. 